fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Unit 15 Part 1 Interchange to 4th edition This video will include Words, their meanings in English and in Arabic Two. The lesson Explanation And the answers Also a PowerPoint presentation for grammar F second condition This is level 9 Pre-intermediate 3 This is why we will try to use English all the time Unit 15 What would you do? Page 100 1 1 Words of exercise number 1 the student has to keep the words by heart. He has to memorize the words in English, not in Arabic. In English. Then, you try to answer the question and listen to the explanation. 1. Owner. Someone who owns something. Someone who owns something. Owns. To have. 1. Owner. Someone who owns something. Honesty. Honesty, British, American, honesty. To be honest, to be honest. H silent and there is Yah sound. To be honest. Return. Go back. Fans. Fans, audience. Reward. Reward, something given for good work. Something given for good work. Reward, something given for good work. Detective work. When you search for information about something. Detective work. When you search for information about something. Stress on bath sound. About. Don't say about. No. About. About something. Reporter. A person reports information for a newspaper. Reporter. A person reports information for a newspaper. Athlete. Athlete. Th 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 athlete a person who is very good at sports someone who is very good at sports a person who is very good at sports admit confess admit confess ashamed feeling guilty embarrassed ashamed feeling guilty embarrassed 2 you've got a point you've got a t sub d You've got a point. T sub D. You've got a point. T sub D between two vowels. O and A. You have short you've. You've you've O as A in American. You've got got got. And then T sub D. You've got a. You've got a point. Three. Break down, broke down, broken down. Shoplifting, shoplifting, taking goods from a shop without paying. Overseas, abroad. Alone, money that borrowed. None of my business, none of my business. Break it up, tend. Not to end, no, tend. O silent. Break it up, tend. To finish. Predicament. A difficult problem. Problem. O as A in American. British problem. American problem. Dilemma. Dilemma. Six. Admit. Confess. Enjoy. Dislike. Agree. Disagree. Borrow. Lend. Remember. Forget. 
spend, save, accept, refuse, divorce, marry, the verbs, and here we have the opposite, word and ab, admit, deny, admit, confess, deny. Catastrophe. 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 Unit 15. What would you do? Exercise number one. Snapshot. Exercise 1 Snapshot The Morning News The Morning News Here, this is a website, home, the main page, current issues, current issue, archives, web extras, radio, contact us, subscribe. Stories of honesty. Honesty? To be an honest person. Not to be a liar or a thief. Businessman returns $750,000 to owner and is thanked with a brief phone call. So this is the first story. It's about a man who found $750,000. The man was very honest, so he went to the businessman and returned the money to the businessman. What did the businessman do? He just thanked him with a brief phone call. He told him, thank you. Second story. Golfer. Golfer admits using illegal ball by mistake, but is still disqualified from game. Golfer, a person who plays golf, who confesses using illegal ball. Illegal ball, not legal ball. By mistake, by mistake, he didn't do that on purpose, on purpose, but it was by mistake, by accident, by chance. But it still disqualified from game. They didn't accept him to play the game. Athlete, who is athlete? Athlete, a person who is good at sports. Athlete admits to cheating. Confesses that he just wanted to win. He won to win. The athlete confesses that he was a cheater. A cheater? Cheating? Cheating? Now? Lying. Lying and cheating. Why? Why did he cheat? Because he wanted to win. Student uses detective work to find owner of gold jewelry. Student uses detective work. A detective like Sherlock Holmes. A person who is searching for information. Why? To find the owner of gold jewelry. This student found gold jewelry and he didn't take it. He was very honest and he's very honest. He's a very honest student. So, he searches for a detective to find the owner of the gold jewelry. Taxi driver returns computer, drives miles to give laptop back to passenger. A taxi driver is very honest. The passenger forgot, forgot his laptop in the taxi. So the taxi driver 
returns to the house and he drives miles and miles to give the laptop back to the passenger. That's a great. Fan returns soccer star's lucky t-shirt. Fan Someone who likes soccer star, soccer football. Someone who likes actor, singer. This is called fan. Fan returns soccer star's lucky t-shirt. So the fan give back the t-shirt, the lucky t-shirt to the star, to the footballer, to a famous footballer. This t-shirt was the lucky t-shirt. The soccer foot, the soccer star, the footballer, likes to wear this t-shirt in matches to be lucky. What did the athlete do? What did the soccer star do? The player, the footballer, gives him one thousand dollar reward he rewarded him with one thousand dollar so fan returns soccer stars lucky t-shirt player gives him one thousand dollar reward now do you know any other stories like this do you know any story about any person a friend who did something honest have you ever found anything valuable what did you do yes i have my friend muhammad abdulati found a gold watch he went to the director to the manager to the school manager the headmaster and gave it to him The manager searched for the owner. Do you think that people who return lost things should get a reward? Yes. People who return lost things should get a reward. In Egypt, you take 10% of the valuable thing. This is the law. If you return it, something back we reward you with 10%. Exercise 2. Conversation. If I found $750,000, look at the picture. What do you see? A young man, a young lady. The young man is reading some news on the laptop and he is eating drinking tea the young lady is imagining she's thinking look at her she has different bags she was doing shopping she thinks if she found $750,000 A. Listen and practice Fail and Pat Unit 15 What would you do? Page 100, Exercise 2 Conversation if I found $750,000, Part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go out and start spending it. 
I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Fell? Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred thousand dollars. Some guy, somebody, a person, someone, who returned it, and the owner simply sang at him with a phone call. So he returned it back. He returned the money back, and the owner just sang at him with a phone call. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're joking. You're laughing. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollar, I wouldn't return it so fast. Hmm. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. I could buy a lot of clothes and jewelry, jewelry, jewels, gold. Someone might also find out about it. Find out, discover, and then you could go to jail. You could go to prison. Hmm. You've got a point there. You've got a point. You're right. Now answer this question. What did Phil do? What was Phil doing? Phil was reading some news. What did he read? He read about a guy. Who found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars and returned it? What did the owner do? The owner simply thanked him with a phone call. What would Pat do if she found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? She wouldn't return it so fast. She would go out and start spending, spending the money. She could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. What about Phil? What would Phil do if he found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? Phil would return the money. He would return the money to the owner. Why? Because someone might also find out about that. And. If Phil spends the money like Pat, he could go to jail. He could go to prison. B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? Page one hundred, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? So what would you do if you found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest. I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Page one hundred, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? So what would you do if you found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest. I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? What would Phil do if he found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? He would take the money straight to the police. Why? Because honesty pays. Maybe he would be lucky and take a reward. Exercise number three: Grammar focus. And real conditional sentences with F close. This, of course, F 
we have the first conditional of F, present simple, subject well, main verb. But this time, this is a real conditional sentences. This is the second conditional of F clause. F the second. Page 101, exercise 3, grammar focus. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Imaginary situation, simple past. If I found $750,000, possible consequence, would, could, or might plus verb, I would spend it. If I found $750,000, I would spend it. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. What would you do if you found $750,000? And real conditional sentences with F clothes. With F clothes here, you have the clothes to have two sentences. F in the second conditional. The first sentence. If I found $750,000, I would, I would spend it. So here, I wouldn't return it so fast. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. I might go to the police station or I might go to the police. So here, if I found F, subject, verb in the simple past. Verb plus D, E, D, I, E, D. The second sentence, subject, I, would, could, might, main verb, spend, return, buy, go. Negative, wouldn't, couldn't. So here you will have F, subject, verb in the simple past, comma, the second sentence, subject, would, could, might, plus main verb. We use this to express and real conditional sentences. The most common we use would. If I found, I would. If I, I would. And I would, short, I had. If I, if I found $750,000, I'd spend it, I had. I would, I had. Okay? So we use would, could, and might. Might, possibility, maybe. Could, we use it to express ability, ability to do something. Question, what would you do if, subject, verb in the simple past, what would you do if you, and then you make the question, what would you do if you found one million dollars, what would you do If you traveled to the USA, so here we imagine a situation, but this is not real. You just imagine the situation and you think, what would happen if you did that? And real conditional with F. Second conditional F. Second condition, F closes for F. F plus simple past would mean verb. So have your F, simple past, second sentence would mean verb. For example, F subject, verb, this is a simple past, verb plus D, ED, ID. Subject would 
plus mean verb. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I'd I'd go to the mall. If I found the verb find past found. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I'd go to the mall. I'd go to I means I would. I would go to the mall. If she had, verb to have, he, she, it, has, present, past, had, past, possible, had. If she had enough money, she'd help us. So here's the past, had. If she had enough money, she'd help us. She would help us. She'd, she would. If we had money, we would buy a villa. If we had money, we would buy a villa. I'd, I would. So here in these examples, we have after F, subject, and verb in the simple past. D, E, D, I, E, D. Or if it's a regular verb, you will have the verb in the past. If I found, she had, if she had, if we had. Plus subject, would, main verb. I'd go. She'd help. We would buy. We say I'd equals I would. Use. Why do we use the second conditional? To describe. Because it describes imaginary situations. Imaginary situations, not real. Imaginary. With simple past forms and consequences in the present. The result, the consequence, refers to the present. If she knew the answer, she'd tell us. If she knew, knew in the simple past. The verb know, K-N-O-W, the past knew, E-W. If she knew the answer, she'd tell us, but she doesn't know the answer. So here, it expresses something simple past, but the result in present. What is the result? She doesn't know the answer. If I had more time, I'd help. If I had more time, I'd help you. But of course, I don't have any time. I'm so sorry, I don't have any time. If I were you, I'd. Here, we say, if I were you, I'd. This is an example or a proverb. Put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in my situation. If I were you, I'd. If I were you, I'd plus main verb. If I were you, I'd go to bed. If I were you, I'd go to bed. If he were here, he'd know what to do. So if I were you, I'd go to bed. If I were you, I'd plus main verb. Question. How to make a question with F? What would you do if you didn't go to the university? So what would you do? What would you do F? Plus subject, verb in the past. What would you do F? What would you do if you didn't go to the university? What would you do if you didn't find a job? What would you do if you saw a ghost? You know a ghost? spirit but I don't think that he will see a ghost just we imagine what would he do if you plus simple past this is you're gonna make a question what would he do if you plus simple past what would he do if you plus simple past 
sure answers. Would you go to the university if you passed your exams? So here say yes or no. Would you? Would you go to university if you passed your exams? So here we have yes, no questions. You must have in the answer yes or no. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. If we lived in a big house, if we lived in a big house, would we have a party? Yes, we would. No, we wouldn't. So if I have yes, I say would in the answer, but no, subject wouldn't. So I have heard the question with would you. Would you plus main verb if you plus verb in the past. In the answer, yes or no. Yes, subject would. No, subject wouldn't. A. Complete these conversations, then compare with a partner. If you have three months to travel, where you go? Oh, that's easy. I fly to Europe. I've always, I've always, I have, always L silent, wanted to go. I've always want to go. I've always wanted to go there. I've always want to go there. Now, after F, you, we have what? Simple best. If you had, if you had three months to travel, if you had three months to travel, where would you go? Oh, that's easy. I'd fly to Europe. I've always wanted to go there. I've always want to go there. One answers had, would, go, I'd, I'd fly, I would fly, I'd, apostrophe D. Two. If your doctor told you to get more exercise, which is poured? Would you choose? I am not sure, but I... If I said I am not sure, so use what? Could, would, or might? Might. I might go jogging two or three times a week. I am not sure, but I might go jogging two or three times a week. Three. What would you do if... Your teacher gave you an A by mistake. What would you do if your teacher gave, G-A-V-E, gave you an A, A excellent, by mistake? Of course, I say something right away. Of course, I would say something right away, or of course, for. Would you, would you break, would you break into your house if you, if you locked yourself out? So would you break your, into your house if you locked yourself out, locked with ED. If you locked yourself out, it means you, you forgot and the closed the door, you closed the door and you are outside. Would you break into your house to destroy the window and get inside the house? Four, not have. B, 
If I didn't have another key, I'd ask a neighbor for help. If I didn't have another key, I would ask a neighbor for help. Five. If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust, would you say something? If your friend wanted ED to marry someone you didn't trust, would you? Would you say something? No, I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't say anything. I would mind my own business. I would mind my own business because this is none of my business. I would mind my own business. Six. What? What would you do if? What would you do if you saw your favorite movie star on the street? What would you do if you if you saw your favorite movie star on the street? I wouldn't be shy. I would ask for a photo and an autograph. I wouldn't be shy. I'm not gonna be shy. I'm gonna be sociable. I would ask for a photo. I'd ask for a photo and an autograph and a signature. B. Per work. Take turns asking the questions in party. Answer with your own information. So in number B here, we are going to make the question and your friend answer. If you had three months to travel, where would you go? Oh, that's easy. I'd fly to Luxor. It's a beautiful city. Luxor is a beautiful city. Oh, that's easy. I'd fly to Hurghada. It's a wonderful summer resort. It's a great summer resort. So this is per work. You ask the question and your friend answers. Exercise number four. Listening. Tough predicaments. Listen to three people talk about predicaments. Number them from one to three in the order they are discussed. So in this exercise, you choose which one is one, two, or three by listening. Number two, you write the suggestions. What are the suggestions of this predicament? A predicament, a very difficult problem. Page 101, exercise four, listening. Tough predicaments. Part A, listen to three people talk about predicaments. Number them from one to three in the order they are discussed. One. I just got a postcard from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Jane, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money in credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Bert? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Although, maybe I'd try going to the embassy or consulate to see if they could help me. What about you, Susan? Well, I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. Number one. A friend lost all her money while traveling. Suggestions. Jane and Bert would call their parents and ask them to send money. Bert might also try going to the American Express office to get a loan. Susan would probably sell her watch and camera or get a job as a waitress. Two. You know, I'm really worried about Carol. 
Why? Well, I think she has a serious shopping problem. Really? Yes, she keeps buying things and putting everything on her credit card. I don't think she realizes how hard it's going to be to pay all the money back. I don't know what to do. What would you do if you discovered a friend had major financial problems? Oh, no question. I'd talk to her about it. Oh, I don't think I would. Why not? Well, because it's really none of my business. I wouldn't tell a friend what to do in that type of situation, so I wouldn't say or do anything about it. Well, I think I'd probably talk to her family about it. It's a personal problem, and they should try to help her first. A friend has a serious shopping problem. Problem. So Jane, number two, Jane would talk to her friend about it. Bert wouldn't say or do anything because it's none of his business. Susan would probably talk to her family. So this is number two. A friend has a serious shopping problem. You know, I was faced with a tough situation the other day. I was walking down the street and saw two people fighting. It looked pretty violent, but I didn't know what to do, so I just walked away. I figured it was none of my business, but now I think I should have done something. What would you do if you saw two people fighting on the street? I'm not really sure, but I know I'd have to do something. I guess I would call the police. No, that takes too long. I'd try to break it up. But you could get hurt if you did that. Well, then I'd try to get someone to help me break it up. In the meantime, I'd shout for someone to call the police. Three, two people were fighting in the street. Fight, quarrel. Suggestions: three. Jane would call the police. Bert would try to break it up, or get someone to help him. To help him. Help him. He'd also shout for someone to call the police. Jane would call the police. Bert would try to break it up or get someone to help him. He'd also shout for someone to call the police. Exercise number six: Word power. Opposites. Opposites. Word and opposite. A. Find nine pairs of opposites in this list. Complete the chart. Then compare with a partner. So here we have. About eighteen words. I need to put every two words together, and they are opposite, opposite words, opposite words together. Accept, opposite, refuse. Accept, refuse. Admit, deny, enjoy, dislike, agree. Disagree. Borrow. Lend. Lend. Remember. Forget. Spend. Save. Divorce. Marry. Accept. Refuse. Find. Lose. So we have these words, see these verbs, again the answers, admit, deny, enjoy, dislike, agree, disagree, borrow, lend, remember, forget, spend, save, divorce, marry, accept, refuse, find, lose. Number B, per work, choose four pairs of opposites, write sentences using each pair. So in this exercise, after you choose every 
two opposite words, you put them in a sentence. Example. I can never save money because I spend it all on clothes. So have the verb save and spend. I never save money because I spend it all on clothes. You have spend and save opposite. Accept, refuse. I always accept invitations. I never refuse any invitations. Borrow, lend. I borrow a lot of money, but I don't lend money to anyone. Remember, forget. I remember the good people's situations, but I forget. I forget the bad people. Divorce, marry. I married my wife for 20 years. We have, we've never had divorce. We've never had a divorce. Find, lose. I always find money and valuable things. I never lose money. That's the end of unit number 15, part 1. Homework. Number 1. Keep the words by heart. 2. Listen and repeat. 3. Go to www. Cambridge.org interchange arcade slash interchange arcade slash for more questions for having fun. For answer three pages of the workbook. Unit 15, part one, workbook. Interchange two for sedition. Answer the first three pages. Finally, we should like it, share it, and subscribe. شكرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ونسألكم الدعاء. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. ممكن نجيب كتاب انترتشينج في أي مكتبة على مستوى العالم الكتاب موجود في العالم العربي كله في السعودية في الكويت الإمارات البحرين مصر والكتاب كمان موجود في فرنسا وإيطاليا وأسبانيا في كل الدول وفي أوروبا فكل الناس اللي هم بياخدوا اللغة الإنجليزية كلغة أجنبية تانية بيقدروا يستخدموا الكتاب عندنا مثلا في مصر في المكتبة الأكاديمية وده جنب مترو أنفاق الدقي 
مجرد ما تخرج من المسجد الانفاق الدقي هتلاقي المكتبة على طول قدامك مكتبة سفينكس في شارع الشواربي شارع الشواربي في وسط البلد مشهور جدا فعندنا مكتبة جرير مكتبة جرير برضو بتقدم كتاب كتاب انتر تشينج سلسلة كلها وهي لها فروع في كل دول الخليج مكتبة الامازون اللي هي المكتبة رقم واحد على مستوى العالم ودي برضو فيها كل النسخ بتاعت الانتر تشينج 